They say necessity is the mother of all invention. And 20 years ago, after the large oil spill of the Exxon Valdez, hairdresser Phil McCrory saw a need. It was back during the Prince William Sound oil spill when the Valdez spilled 13 million gallons of oil up there. When I saw the uh, otters, which I'd seen several times, but uh, there was one time that it clicked that otters were saturated with oil and I was sweeping up hair thinking, well, hair should do the, what otters are doing, I'm saturated with oil. So I made an otter out of um, human hair and my wife's pantyhose and started with that. Cleaned up an oil spill and, and a simulated oil spill in my backyard in the kiddie pool. Human hair, it's everywhere and it grows on average of a quarter of a millimeter per day. Talk about a renewable resource. Hair has a lot of nooks and crannies. It has a lot of surface area, like sort of spikes sticking out of it. That's why your hair knots when you don't brush it. Um, but what that also creates is a lot of surface area. And so uh, the oil clings to all of the surface area. Lisa and her organization, Matter of Trust, have been matching surplus with needs for years. A few years ago, she saw the need for oil spill cleanup in the Galapagos and then found Phil and his hair mats. Since then, she's been collecting and making hair booms and hair mats on her own. When the Costco Busan oil spill happened in San Francisco in November of 2007, it was sort of the first time that we had this ability to do a very public demonstration of thousands of hair mats on a beach with lots of press. And what happens to the mats and booms once they're full of oil? You can't toss them in the landfill or burn them, so that's where this guy comes in. I look at innovations um, that are focused on this concept of biomimicry. Biomimicry is imitating processes that happen naturally um, and reproducing those for, for dealing with issues that we create. Using green waste from the Presidio, things like grass cuttings and horse manure, Thomas worked on creating a nice pile of compost that he could add to. The oil and the hair that was left over from, the, um, from a previous experiment was actually blended in there, kind of like a lasagna. And then we allowed it to go through a, a thermophilic composting process, uh, meaning that it's uh, heating up to 131 degrees or more. Phase two is vermicompost. So now that we have remediated compost, um, we're starting to feed the compost to earthworms. Earthworms act as our biological indicator. So if the earthworms will eat it, that means that it's safe to disperse into the environment. As healthy soil for Presidio landscaping, an endless supply of hair absorbing toxic oil waste, then becoming compost. If only more inventions had a healthy cycle like this.